three. And by R, it's just me. So here we go. Two topless going to the supers. The shoes are headed back to the Elite Eight. The Braves are a beast. Mount Zion punches its ticket to the Super on Monday, and I am loving this. Lincoln and Glen Glenwood in all CS8 title game. Does not get much better than that on the girls' side. Watch that game tomorrow on our sister station, WCIX 49. From high school to Illinois, where a homecoming awaits Marcus Damask, the Illini guard grew up in Wappen, about an hour north of Madison. Tomorrow, the orange and blue face the Badgers. Domas says he didn't grow up a big Badger fan, but used to watch their games. He was even recruited by Wisconsin out of Southern Illinois when he went into the portal before ultimately choosing Illinois. Marks only had 13 tickets to give out, but expects a big cheering section at the Cole Center. It'll be fun. You know, I think it'll just, I think it'll be more fun for other people than me, honestly. Uh, just people that have watched me grow up, watched me play in high school, that haven't had the ability to watch me play, that'll be at the game. So I think it, it means more for other people. You know, for me, I think it's just another basketball game. Here's the matchup. 13th ranked Illinois at Wisconsin tips off at noon from the Kohl Center on Big Ten Network. For even more coverage, watch the Your Illini Nation pregame show live on our WCIA3 digital channels. Join me and Derek Piper from Illini Inquirer about 11 a.m. courtside in Madison to get ready for the game. Watch on our WCIA3 Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages. On top of hoops, it's also NFL Combine Week, a record six former Illini in Indianapolis for the annual showcase of top college talent. And that includes Isaiah Williams, who is WCIA3's Andy Olson reports, is betting on himself. Isaiah Williams is ready for the bright lights of the NFL. The former Alana decided so when choosing to go pro with another year of eligibility left after putting his name all over the Alana record books over five seasons. The biggest thing was, was like, do I feel like I did everything I could to put myself in the best opportunity possible? And I felt like, yes, I felt like every single year I got better. The St. Louis native is one of a record six Illini that were invited to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis this year. After a postseason showing in the East-West Shrine game, Williams is still seen as a day three pick. But that's not something that particularly bothers the speedster. A lot of guys got me as a later round guy. Like, I'm not the top guy, but I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. Um, I got no problem with being that guy and just um, showing people that I could ball and I could play football. Probable number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, was quite the popular attraction here on Friday. The Chicago Bears hold all the cards at the top of the draft for the second year in a row. Bears general manager Ryan Poles is keeping his hand close to the vest, whether to keep Justin Fields or draft Williams. But the USC QB certainly sees their paths intersecting. I don't think I'm, that I'm not going to be number one. Um, I think I put in all the, all the hard work, um, all of the you know, the time, effort, energy um, into, into, you know, being that. Right now, it's like a hundred different scenarios that you go down and, and try to plot out and you're forecasting forward to see what's going to work out and probabilities. And when Williams meets with the Bears, he just wants to know one thing. Do you want to win? That's it. Williams, Isaiah, not Caleb, hits the field tomorrow at Lucas Oil Stadium to work out for scouts and teams. Caleb announced that he's not throwing this week here in Indy, but it is probably not something that will affect his draft stock eight weeks from now at the NFL Draft. Reporting for Euroline Nation in Indianapolis, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Andy, thank you. To watch more from Isaiah, head to our website, WCIA.com. Andy posted his full interview with Williams earlier today. Plus, I was at the Combine on Wednesday. Talked to a couple of defensive linemen, including Johnny Newton and Keith Randolph Jr. That's online as well. As we get close to the draft, several Illini expected to be picked. All right, hey, I got to go. I'm heading to Madison. We'll see you at Illini game tomorrow. Noon tip, an early one at the Kohl Center. We'll have our Your Line Nation pregame show as well. Looking forward to that. For Andy and Indy and Courtney in Normal, I'm Brett. Thanks so much for watching all season long. Have a great night and a fantastic weekend.